So these, these are the paper flowers I'm making because I used to make these when I was a young woman to feed my five children. Every night around the campfire, when it was a good night, we'd sit for hours talking and telling our tales and making our paper flowers. And why did we make paper flowers? Well, we were very poor and we couldn't afford just to go out and buy food, so we'd have to make flowers out of toilet roll. Well, even in days gone by, we didn't even use toilet roll, you know. And we never had a toilet. I never had a toilet or a bathroom for 28 years. Can you imagine? Don't ask me what I used. You think about it. We lived outside where we used leaves. But I'm making these paper flowers to show people how you can earn your living and live in a simple, easy life. Just earning your living, making paper flowers out of toilet roll. Toilet roll doesn't cost very much, although it's very expensive today, and you can't get the colors that you used to get. I used to get purple and pink and blue, the colors of the rainbow. Now it's these pale colors. Hi, Anna Trisha, she's all excited because she's missed one the other day. She's still I, happy, she happy, she said, Mommy, I really met a flower. I said, did you? <laughs> that woman learnt me. I said, all right. Then. Will you just go in that box, please, and get me a wire? In that plastic box? That box there. Yeah. And the only thing that I'd have to go and buy was flower wire. And I'd buy that from the flower shop if I was in a village or a town. You'd always find a flower shop. If not, one. If not, I'd have to use a pipe cleaner because we used to smoke. And the old people used to smoke clay pipes. I wouldn't tell you to do it today, really. But even the young ones used to smoke the clay pipes years ago. And uh, I give up smoking though a long time ago because it's not good for your health. So when you make the flower, you make it very carefully and delicately because it's tissue paper and just like a real flower, it's got petals. So first of all, I made a concertina and now I put some wire on it like this so that it keeps the flower head secure. These flowers, when I sell them, can last for years so long as the people look after them. Now, I always tell people that when you make paper flowers, just remember it's an art and a craft, and every petal is gently eased and teased out and brought to the middle till it comes to this stage where it's actually budding. It's a budding flower. And you know the name in the gypsy, Khromani language, this is a lulagi. And the lulagi, Romani people love flowers, lulagi. And this one is going to be put on a stem. Now we always used to use privet, because privet has a very strong stalk and it's evergreen. That means the leaves never die. So when I sold them at the doors in my basket, then the people, I could tell them that my flowers last forever. Forever. Soha, soha, forever, forever. And I could come back again every Christmas, every year, and my flowers would still be in the vases in the ladies' houses, but then I'd come with a fresh color, or else I'd come with my pegs. My husband used to make the pegs, and my father-in-law, Now everybody's got dryers and not everybody needs gypsy pegs anymore. But I think everybody should know how to make a flower, a lulagi. Because they're very beautiful, they're very easy, it's very therapeutic when you sit and you make flowers and you can tell old stories about years ago and about when we sold our flowers at the doors. And everybody would love them. And it's something that the children would never forget. We'd have to make the children sometimes go and collect the privet because we'd be up early in the morning. And in those days, our children didn't go to school because we were always on the move. And you see, when you're on the move all the time, you can't have a nine to five job. And gypsy people wouldn't like that anyway. We like to be on the move, so we have to sell things from town to town and village to village. And making paper flowers like this, every woman loves a flower. I love a flower too. 
and Miro uh, Kamav Lulagi. That's the gypsy language of saying, I love flowers. And so when the flowers are made, it's a very leisurely thing just to knock on the doors and tell the people, I'm a real Romani gypsy traveling through your village, and today I'm selling my beautiful flowers. Would you like to buy half a dozen, my dear? Or if you like, you can have two for half a crown. Well, that's how old I am. I go back to half a crowns and sixpences, but I don't mind because I like to pass this knowledge on to the younger ones so that they too, if times get hard again, can go out and sell paper flowers. But now you have to have a license to knock on the door. I've got a license, thank goodness for that. I don't really need to go out and sell them anymore. But you see, this really looks like a coronation. That's a carnation flower, and I think it's nice. But it's even better when it's put on a stalk. You can get this stalk from any bush, but you have to ask somebody's permission. I had to beg the woman this morning from a bungalow just down the road from Lee Gap Fair, and uh, she came out and she said, take as much as you want. I think she was very glad because they were all sticking out. But I take the flower you see, and I would put it on the store, on the store, very carefully not to break the leaves, because the leaves are what makes the flower finished article, and wrap the wire around the flower and hay presto. There we go. There's the finished product. And then I put the flower in my basket like this. And here I am, ready to go out and sell my flowers. Good day, my dear. Would you like to buy one of my flowers? I'm a real Romani gypsy, and these flowers will last forever. You don't need to uh, water them all the time. You put them in water and just leave them, and they never die. And it's very good to buy off a Romani gypsy, because you will be helping us along our way, and you'll have something beautiful to remind us of. So have a nice day.